Hi guys, welcome to another video. If you watch my channel before, you probably know that I chase carps in big public lakes and this is what I'm doing at the moment. Well, in today's video, I'm going to talk about casting and more specifically, how you can use a single rod to replace the job of three different rods. Standard, fishing rod, marker and spot. Stay by the end, we start just now. First of all, I need to apologize for not being in a perfect shape this morning. But this is because, guys, I couldn't sleep very well over the night. The reason for this is that I catch a couple of small carbs between one and and two kilos which keep me busy over the night and at a certain point I decided that it's too hard for me to set my rod in a distance of uh, 200 meters and above which I usually, usually use in this uh, fishing and I decided to spend some time using a rod to investigate what I have in front of me in a shorter distance because this activity of carbs is uh, hard to set rods by boats and some other stuff so I decided to find a place where to cast and this place is supposed to be nice and keeping good fishes well now I'm going to explain how I found this place because surprisingly when I spent half an hour doing this I still catched carps small carps but still carps and activity was very very well so I will show you how exactly I found this place I'm sorry guys, I had to land another baby carp but that's the reality, you know we are in a big lake and if someone tells you that he is in a big lake and catches only big carps don't trust him, I would not do that actually, in a big lake, they are unpredictable you can catch anything, sometimes you can catch small fish sometimes you can catch big fish sometimes among the small fish you, you can catch bigger one so all depends so this is another topic which I'm not going to discuss but in this session unfortunately I'm catching small carbs let's go back to the topic so if I go to a lake where I know that I should fish by casting without the entire equipment of boats and things like that I usually bring with me three types of rods standard fishing rod you all know how to use it obviously marker you probably also know how to use it but this is a special uh, rod which is used to find your spot and to leave a marker just to know where your spot is and this stays for the entire session then you need a spot rod this is a rod which usually is 5.5 5 libras something like that which is used to provide food in your already marked spot 
So that's why we need three type of uh, rods. When you do that, you can set three of your standard rods or whatever you use and wait. So this is the general procedure. However, since I'm in a place where I'm not expecting to cast, I bring with me only the standard rod. But I did a good job using the standard rod only and replaced the job of the other two rods. Alright guys, let's start with the step number one. The first thing you should do is take your standard rod and put the safety clips like this one here then take this lead which is very appropriate for casting and it's better if you have a bright here in my case is not a bright it's a monofill but it's uh, never mind you can you can you can still use it so what we're going to do I will tell you in advance that the place which I found is a slope and to find a slope, you need first to cast without anything else, without your rig. Just simply like that, as you see it. Cast uh, several times and then at the beginning you will, you will feel a tense. And this is because of the slope. At a certain point, the tense will be released, which means that you are on the flat place. So exactly what we are looking for is the beginning of the slope. So guys, cast several times, fill the tents and make a clip exactly where the tents is released. This is what we are looking for at the first step. When you cast and when you make a clip exactly to know where your spot is you should take a landmark this is very important because you should be able to reproduce this cast cast exactly so i will go again to the second step the second step is guys just remove the lead and put the rocket. This will be used to provide food in your already found place. But there is specificity here, so pay attention on this part. Imagine that you have a lead here. When you cast, then you have a clips and then your rig will be like that bam in this place but when you use the clips and you use the rocket when you cast it will release your foot here which is not exactly the place where you want to be in order to be on exactly the same place, make a step back. Make a step back. And afterwards, cast again with the rocket. So then you will be here, and when you cast, and clips do not allow uh, the, the rocket to go further, it will release your foot exactly exactly where your rig will be. What is the third step? First of all, bring your lead back and then put your rig. This is the third and the last step, which however is very specific as well. So I'm going to explain uh, the different highlights which I have here. So, first one is use uh, long rigs, longer than this one. I usually use 20, 22 centimeters or something like that, longer rigs. 
and this is important for two reasons. The first one is because you never know where your rig exactly will fall down. So longer is better. And this holds for different aspects of the life. <laughs> but never mind. Let's uh, be serious here again. The second reason to use longer rigs is because when you cast, you will be able to follow formation of tangles in the air. You will be able to see that. Imagine when you cast, if you have a longer rig like this one, it's much easier to follow what happens in the air. If you see formation of tangles, then it will go like that or something, which you will be able to see. So, the first point, let's make it shorter. The first point is use longer rigs. Another important thing, guys, is when you cast, you never cast straight forward. Because if you do so, you increase probability to make tangles. So instead, try to make a parabola. You understand? Just cast above and let the lead go smoothly like that. This will prevent probability to make tangles and it's much safer. So, let me summarize. Use your clip on your rod. Take your landmark which you know very well where it is and cast making a parabola this is what you have to do to set perfectly your rod and to do all the job just using one single rod and something else in the end when you cast to a shorter distance probability to have tangles is higher believe me it's much easier if you find your spot in a longer distance. Then when you make the parabola, it will fall down smoothly and probability to make tangles is lower. You will, you will see that from your own experience. So guys, if this video helps you, subscribe, like, share to your friends and see you in the next video. I wish you all the best.